All right guys, so I've been uh, doing some testing over here, gearing up for squirrel season, and I wanted to do a quick video on the difference between Remington Golden Bullets and Remington Thunderbolts. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about Golden Bullets versus the Remington Thunderbolts. On today's video, I wanted to go ahead and do a uh, comparison between the Remington Thunderbolts right here and the uh, Remington Golden Bullets, which I have I have one right here with, that are the hollow points. And I'm just going to give my opinion so you guys can uh, either save your money or buy them because I don't like buying expensive 22 ammo to shoot squirrels. I like to shoot a lot. So I like to, I went with the bolt box. So here's the breakdown and that way you can make your decision. All right guys, so over the years, I just gotta be honest, I've gone through a lot of different types of ammo. I've read just about every squirrel forum out there because you know, there's such an argument on this stuff. But so last year, I went after the little furry critters with uh, the golden bullets right here. These things are cheap box ammo. Uh, they're hollow points and you can get a big box of them like this for like 28 bucks, 500. I think they come in five, 525 for uh, 28 bucks at Academy. They're cheap, they work. It will explode their chest, so it's all headshots. This year, I want to try the Thunderbolts, right? Because I like to shoot. So I've also used these right here, CCIs, all right? So yeah, these are the target rounds. Can you see them? 22 rifle. The mini mag ones are awesome, but when I bought these, um, they only had the target rounds, so that's what I had to get weird with because of the 22 ammo shortage. The reason why I wanted to go along with the Thunderbolts this year was that um, one, you get 500 for like 25 bucks, and two, the heads on them don't rattle as bad. I mean, if you look at these, they're like, watch this, watch this, hold on. I don't know if you can see it. The heads on these are pretty rickety. They move back and forth. I don't know if you can tell. Some are worse than others. But what you get is when it's feeding through the tube, sometimes they don't cycle through very well. They kind of just kirk. You wind up getting a bad one. And every once in a while, these are bulk ammo, so these are bulk ammo problems. You'll get one that's like not sealed very well, so you gotta check the ammo before you put them in your rifle. Just weapon of choice. You just gotta check them. But these, um, I figure since they're like, they got a, a, a more like rounded nose, it'd be a little more accurate. The noses don't move as bad as the golden bullets. And we're shooting squirrels, guys. We're not shooting elephants, we're shooting squirrels. So let me show you my setup, guys. My Marlin 60 right here. I got a brand new Bushnell on top. All right, see my, the Bushnell? I just got a Dust to Dawn Bushnell scope on here. The top, the, uh, the cover's off, but this is just a little Bushnell uh, Dust to Dawn scope, as you can see. It, uh, my other one bit the dust. If you watched my videos last year, you'll see that I had a lot hard time seeing through it. So, it was, well, late in the afternoon, those squirrels are really tough to see on the branches, and especially when they lay down. You know, you need a little scope, but you don't want to get too big of a scope because it makes a 22 rifle so heavy, and then, like, what's the point of a 22 rifle? That was a joke. But this is the Marlin 60 micro grooved 14 round magazine. I think it's 14 plus one. Got it for Christmas. Got it. My, my dad bought it for me for like 99 bucks. You can get these things probably about 150 now, or you can catch them at pawn shops. Um, they're super accurate and they're super quiet. You see the barrel on it? Like I don't even need earplugs with this thing, and that's why I like it over a shotgun because usually when you shoot, the squirrels don't get too like fired up. And you wait a little while, and you can take out another one. Whereas with the big boomstick, the shotgun, that, those suckers are gone. They're gone for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20, if you're lucky. And so you gotta wait around. This one, you're gonna get a couple shots off. Just gotta be skilled. So I think we forget sometimes that these squirrels, doesn't take much to kill them. But one of the things you'll get with a cheap ammo versus the high explosive dart ammo, the CCI mini mags, it's a joke. Charges in them will be a little different. Sometimes you'll hear them um, 
be a little short like when I would say short I mean you can tell it didn't have as big a charge in it so you'll get an inconsistent round but they're so cheap you shoot again baby you let another one fly and then when that one doesn't work you let another one fly and at the end you're smiling because you're shooting and you're having fun we're down here to get weird don't make fun of my target guys we're being cheap around here this piece of paper was laying on the ground I decided to recycle reuse you know what I mean so the plan is we're going out we're sighting in here so I'm just gonna draw draw a little bitty little bitty head size dot like right there and then i'm gonna draw a little like space around it we're only talking like 30 yards here that's what we're starting at i forgot to tell y'all starting at 30 yards my rifle's somewhat sighted in so, so since i'm on the paper and i know i'm gonna hit close to that thing down there i'm just gonna like run off two rounds three rounds and then go back and adjust i know i'm not gonna be taking a lot of shots because here in florida these leaves don't really come off that much during the winter because we don't have cold winters so you pretty much have like a lot of leaves on the trees at all times so long shots are kind of tough i'm just going to go ahead and plan to get on the paper get locked tight at 30 yards and maybe take a couple longer ones and then we're going to see um, how these thunderbolts are doing as long as i can hit that circle i just drew down there the squirrel's dead so i'm not real real worried about it so we're going to go ahead and shoot a couple rounds we're going to see what happens so there's really no replacing just getting out and shooting your gun or and shooting your weapon of choice because it takes practice to figure out you know like how these things work and you know like what rounds you feel comfortable with and you know it's really trial and error don't go and read a bunch of stuff on the internet and think that's the only way to do it because most of those dudes out there are writing articles to sell bullets or to sell things they were shooting squirrels with stuff like this a long time ago and they were still killing them so we don't have to get crazy with it don't laugh at me guys scratch that i found my sleeping bag i shot off worse stuff than this at the rifle range in the military this is actually pretty good y'all might be impressed Did you hear that one? That one sounded different. It drove through the same hole as the first one, but it sounded different. That's the deal with cheap ammo. At 30 yards, you're probably still gonna hit the squirrel or the rabbit or whatever you're shooting. But when you get out there at long rounds, you get a weak cook off like that. It might go a little wild, I'm just saying. I mean, when I used to shoot my little pellet gun back in the day and you know you went five pumps instead of six, you still kill the squirrel sometimes. Sometimes you didn't. All right guys, let's walk down there and let's look at it. Weapon on sake and the V-notch stake. That's pretty good uh, first volley down range. Especially with the setup I'm shooting off. Got a sleeping bag and a dog on backpack. Now that's what I'm trying to shoot off of. But you know, you gotta stay motivated. But here's the shot group. This is, this right here is one and two, all right? So that's, that's two shots right there. See, I'm not lying, one and two, okay? And then the other one was right there. So you can see, you can see the thunderbolts are holding strong. Look at that. That's pretty close. I'm only like just a little bit high. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna make my adjustments. I'm gonna wing it. I mean, it is a hair high. I'm talking like. We're gonna give her one more click. You hear that short fire right there? Still went to the, to the. It still went through the bullseye, but it was a short fire. Whatever you want to call them, didn't have the same thunder in it. Hey, look. I got a misfeed, misfeed, misfeed. So I've probably ran about 50 rounds through there. Got it light, tight, pretty tight. Um, what I have noticed with the Thunderbolts, you do get a little stray every once in a while. Of course, I am on a rickety bench over here on a sleeping bag on top of a backpack. Do I think it'll kill squirrels? Absolutely. I think it'll be fun, absolutely, because you're going to miss a couple. I'm going to run some golden bullets through here, some of these, and see what the difference in the aim point is. It's going to be tough to show you all the difference. I'm just going to go ahead and say, because to make this video short, that this thing is zeroed in at 30 yards with the thunderbolts. So I'm going to run a couple golden bullets through it. I hear squirrels barking at me right now. Mockingbirds and squirrels. And the breach is open so nobody hounds me. The bolt's back, whatever you want to call it. 
Same difference. All right, guys, I was just loading and I already got a misfeed. That's the thing about the golden bullets. They, uh, any of these cheap bolt boxes, you get these. You get misfeeds. I don't know, I guess because the noses are so flimsy. Breaking my pen doing this. Gotta be right back. I can get a multi tool. All right, rock and roll. Always gotta have a multi-tool. All right, so I got two dots down there that haven't been shot at. Uh, yeah, they're not of equal size, but we're just gonna see how this rolls and uh, see if I can tell the difference between golden bullets. My target's moving too. The wind's blowing it. All right. Difference, it shoots just a little high. Here's where I sighted in my, this is the last volley of the Remington Thunderbolts, right? These right here. And then I moved it over just a little bit and we called it a day. And then here's the Remington Gold Bullets at 30 yards. Just a little high, not much. I can say that, that there's not really that much difference up close. And I decided to shoot this up with the Thunderbolts. I was aiming at the tip and you can say, I was, I was miss, you know, it was hitting it. So, I'd like to say that hitting the same spot wise, not much difference. Did I get some weird cook offs on the, the like odd sounding bullets? Um, the Thunderbolts, I had a few shells that were, or rounds, whatever you want to call them, a few rounds that did not sound the same. On the golden bullet side, you have the, the bullets are a little flimsy and they feed, uh, they have a little problems feeding through my, mo my uh, Model 60. Got him. Dome shot right there. So that's 30 yards. Now let's hit the thumb tack. Miss feed, that's miss feed number three on the day for Thunderbolts. This, this burn very dirty. Uh oh, just had a fail to fire. I'm gonna have to take my rifle apart. Can you see it? All right, guys. Well, hmm. I don't know what to say here. Just put my rifle back together. Let's just say, in the amount of time I've been out here, I've had two failure to uh, to feeds. This one was real bad. And I've had one misfire out of these Thunderbolts. Okay. And uh, I'm not, not real impressed with them. Well, I'll shoot them at squirrels, yeah, but I've had just, just not having good luck with them. Last year I used these, these golden bullets, they were better. I think I'm gonna like sight back in with these golden bullets and call it a day. So, um, basically got this big old box to shoot and I feel like I kinda, I don't know, just not real happy with them. So I just wanna be honest with you guys. I just got this box. I mean, these are like brand new from Academy and I don't know if it's my rifle or if it's the, the doggone, the bullets. So, well guys, uh, that's all I got for this. Um, as far as accuracy, they were close. I mean, had a couple wildcat rounds with these. A couple that didn't sound right with these. You know, take it for what you want. I, uh, Sweating real impressed with the, the Thunderbolts. I thought I'd be a lot more impressed with them. They're just 
quality control, you know? The, all right, so the basic breakdown between the Golden Bullet and the Thunderbolt in like 30 seconds. The Golden Bullet has a hollow point. Um, they're a, about the same price as the Thunderbolt, a little more, I think, because you're paying for the Thunderbolt. The Golden Bullet will leave a gold residue in your gun. It's just gonna happen because I guess it's just the dustiness of it, uh, the golden the golden flakes. Um, the Thunderbolts are a just regular round nose, if you haven't noticed. Now, will they both kill squirrels? Absolutely, if you hit them. The, uh, the Golden Bullet, if you hit a squirrel on the chest with the Golden Bullet, there's gonna be nothing left of the chest. You're just gonna have a giant hole all the way through him. I decided to get some Thunderbolts to see if I could not mess them up as bad because literally you can kill these things with pellet guns and I've actually killed them with slingshots. So squirrels are not real hard to kill, you just gotta hit them. So I uh, got the bolt box of these just to see if there was a difference. I used the golden bullets all last year, shot squirrels, no problem. Out to about 30 yards, the bolt box ammo, so that three times fast, is about the same. You're gonna get you know a good little group um, and you're gonna hit squirrels. I also had more hang fires with these. I had one miss misfire. I had um, a few failure ejects, which I showed you. Um, the comparison is, I think I'm gonna go back and recite in with the golden bullets for the squirrel season and uh, just rock with it. I'm gonna alternate back and forth because it's cheap, but um, I think I'm gonna go back with the golden bullets. So that's really my opinion. And then uh, you make your own decision. Comment down below, guys. Let's create a discussion. All right, guys, so I know at the beginning of this video, I was talking a ton of trash about bulk box ammo and how there's really much, not much of a difference. Now, I will say this, that I shot these Thunderbolts. I shot them and shot them and shot them. There wasn't a lot of big problems with the accuracy, but you know what I did do? I, I, I put them aside, guys, and I said, I'm reciting back in with my golden bullets because the bolt box ammo of Thunderbolts was just not doing it. I had a bunch of misfeeds, uh, a failure to fire, my rifle just was not digging them. And that's one thing you got to decide when you when you uh, start shooting your especially your 22 autos. Some stuff just doesn't cycle through your rifle like other stuff does. I think my Marlin likes the the golden bullets. I, it doesn't. It was telling me I was feeling it that it didn't like the thunderbolts. So I went back to the golden bullets, sighted in, killed some tin cans down there, and uh, it really wasn't hard. It was just a couple clicks difference to where they were landing at 30 yards. I'm happy at 30, and if I have to get out there at 50, I'm just going to do a little Kentucky windage. It should just be a you know bullet kind of does like this, or should just be a little different. Just going to have to wing it, you know, because the bullet rises and it drops out there a little further. But uh, yeah, guys, so that's basically the end of this video. Um, I was just showing you what the difference was in the Thunderbolts and the Golden Bullets. I you know, just want to let you know you don't have to buy the expensive stuff to have fun. So uh, I'm going to throw the Golden Bullets at the squirrels this year. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to keep them in my little tin can right here. This is what I keep them in my pocket with. Just uh, throw them in there. Keep them quiet and put them on my pants leg and I can carry out about 50 rounds with me. So that's all I got guys. I'll see you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Come hang out with me during squirrel season because we're going to be going after these guys. The tree, the, the tree leaves are starting to fall. See you guys later.